Even the very oldest of tales is older than men know. For the similarities of the myths of diverse peoples betray a common origin lost in the darkness of eons. The ancient Greeks told stories of a sacred tree in a beautiful garden near the ocean in the farthest of the western lands, and that this tree and its golden apples were tended by three fair divine nymphs, the Hesperides, each represented by a different tree, the willow, the poplar, and the elm. They had with them a foul serpent named Ladon, which guarded the apples with its one hundred fierce heads, until one day Hercules slew that monster and stole the apples to complete one of his twelve tasks for King Eurytheus. The Celts also told of such a mystical land in the west, an island called Avalon, which means the island of apples. It is on this magical island that the legendary King Arthur now resides as an immortal. For when wounded, he was born on a boat to the western island, where his wounds were healed by the goddess Morgan and her sisterhood of Nye. It is said that one day he will return when his people need him most. A Welsh story reveals that this land is very lush, and that the fields there do not need to be ploughed, for nature alone provides all cultivation. Apple trees grow wild in the woods, and men live for hundreds of years. Avalon comes from Welsh, Avalach, meaning apple, as does Irish, Avalach, as in the island of Irish legend, Aven Avalach, where the god Lú Lamphada was reared. The god King Bran was once walking on the western shore when, hearing sweet music, he stopped and saw a beautiful apple bough covered in white blossoms. It had come from Aven of Lach. He carried it back to his hall, where a strangely garbed woman appeared and sang him a song of an island out west, of golden chariots and fine wine, and where there was neither death nor decay. As she left the hall, the apple bough flew to her hand. Then Bran launched three boats, each with a crew of nine, and they rowed westward for two days and two nights. As they braved the briny deep, the sea god Mananan approached in his chariot and spoke words of encouragement, saying, Many marvellous islands lay ahead, the best of which was Avenavlach. In another tale, the hero Conla the Ruddy met a mysterious woman from a faraway island called Tirnanug, land of the young. And she gave him an apple which, no matter how much one bites it, always remains whole. Its magic awakened in him a deep longing to see the woman again. After abandoning his druid and his people, he departed from this world with the strange woman in a crystal ship never to be seen again. And there is another Celtic story in which the three sons of Turin take the shape of hawks in order to steal sacred apples from the garden of Hisberna, and are then pursued by the griffins that guard them. Not only does this garden sound just like the Greek Hesperides, but the theft is exactly like another in Norse mythology. One of the principal goddesses of the Norse was Idun meaning ever young. She was of elven race, and bore a box containing the apples of immortality, on which the gods depended heavily. The gods were in constant battle with a neighboring tribe of divine beings called Jurtens. Trickster god Loki, seeing the Jurten Fjazi had taken the shape of an eagle, hit him with a pole. But it stuck, and he was carried up into the sky. As he clung for life, he pleaded with Thiazi, who agreed to free him if Ethan would leave the realm of the gods with her sacred apples. So Loki led Ethan outside the gods' realm of Orsgard and into a forest where he promised her were more apples which she ought to compare to her own. Thiazi, in eagle form, swoops down catches poor Ethan in his talons and carried her back to his home in Thrymheim. Without their precious apples, 
the gods grew weaker and older. They assembled for a meeting, and blaming Loki, sentenced him to death. But Loki said he would go to the land of the Jotun and rescue Eden and her apples. Goddess Freya lent Loki her enchanted cloak so that he could take the form of a falcon and fly to Jotunheim. He flew there, turned Eden into a nut, and carried her away. But Thiazi pursued him in the shape of an eagle. Loki fled with tremendous speed, but Thiazi was close behind, chasing him all the way back, where he crash-landed into Orsgard. But the gods were waiting, and so they killed him there, and celebrated his death forever after. Apples were first domesticated in Kazakhstan by people known as Indo-Europeans. They were a warlike race of horse riders who dominated the steppes of Europe and Asia over the course of the Bronze Age with the aid of their chariots. Everywhere they went, they spread their languages, which many of us speak even today. They also spread their horses, related to those we ride today, and they spread their apples. They also spread their myths and their gods. And one of the myths that they had told their people for thousands of years was that of the golden apples of youth, which were stolen from the gods. And it is a myth that we must continue to tell for many years to come. <laughs>